Hello friends and welcome. I am your friend Chetan Bhora and you are watching Bola Mac Tech. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the accelerator pedal position sensor. So please keep watching this video till the end. You are going to learn a lot of things about the about this sensor. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe it at this moment. Don't forget to share this video with your friends also. So as the name suggests, accelerator pedal position sensor. So this sensor is gonna sense the position of the accelerator pedal. So uh, there must be something, uh, some arrangements such that it can just sense the position of the accelerator pedal. Previously, the method which was used was like this. There was a pedal, and uh, due to some linkages, and there is some throttle wire, and this throttle wire just uh, goes to the throttle wall. And when just when you just presses the pedal, this throttle wire uh, is uh, pulled from uh, from one end, and due to which it it just displaces inside that uh, in inside that wire holder and uh, it just pulls the throttle valve and the throttle valve opens and the air can go go through this manifold this was the previously used method but nowadays what we are using is the completely uh, we just uh, <coughs> but nowadays the the people are trying to remove them as much as the mechanical linkages so that's why they are using the throt throttle by wire type of technology for throttle by wire type type of technology what they did is there is a pedal and uh, th they just convert the motion of this pedal into some electrical signals and these electrical si signals are sent to this throttle valve and uh, this throttle valve is going to be actuated by these electrical signals and some motor or uh, some transducer so that they can convert the electrical signals into the mechanical force or mechanical displacement so in this way this uh, system is going to work so how this uh, uh, a pedal sensor is going to convert this mechanical uh, displacement of this pedal into the electrical cell is the main thing so what they are doing is they are just using a potentiometer uh, type of arrangement when the uh, when the pedal is pressed from one end when the pedal will be pressed so this linkage is going to displace and due to this displacement of link this arrow this is the connection that is going to dis uh, that is going to displace the angular displacement that that is attained by this needle will be uh, will will be completing a circuit now uh, the current from one end will be co coming from this needle and going through this potentiometer wire and then to the ecu since uh, due to the displacement of this uh, needle will lead to the increase or the decrease in the resistance wire of this potentiometer so as the wire uh, as the length of the resistance wire increases there will be the more voltage drop across this uh, resistance wire or there will be the loss of current due to this resistance wire and this loss of current or the or the voltage drop can be easily sensed by the ecu what it does is ecu gets the signal from the th uh, apps that is accelerator pedal position sensor and then send these signals to the injector wall or map map sensor ecu has to send the signals to the um, injector because as much as the pedal is pressed more of the fuel must be entered inside the engine more of the valve must be open the inlet manifold valve or the butterfly valve must be open so that the more of the air can enter inside the engine and map map sensors uh, should should get the same reading such that it can match the reading that are coming from this ecu so that it, it can just recognize whether the air flow is pro appropriate or not because if the fuel gets enter enter in, inside the engine most in in much more uh, in much more proportion than that the air then the fuel mixture will be richer and the <coughs> and the efficiency there will be some loss of efficiency so ecu is uh, always in contact with the tps that is throttle position sensor and uh, apps so it is just uh, getting the data from tps and apps and then sending this data to the throttle uh, throttle wall so that the appropriate amount of the air can enter inside the engine and also to the injector so that appropriate amount of fuel can also enter inside the engine now one more thing that i just want to tell you is that ecu also changes the pattern of the acceleration in the reverse gear because at the time of reverse at the time of uh, going backward in the in the backward direction the acceleration that is given by the pedal must not be the acceleration that is attained by the by the vehicle because uh, the 
the the acceleration that is required while uh, in the reverse direction is not that much required the acceleration is not that much required so that's why it is not necessary so the ecu also uh, manipulates the acceleration pattern in the di reverse direction there are several benefits that i just want to tell you it is quite easier to do the con cruise control type of mechanism in this type of apps system the idle control is quite easier in this because uh, everything is just in the hand of ECU. You don't need to press the throttle wall or the or the pedal while you are. If you want to do the cruise control, you don't need to press the pedal at the same position for longer distances. You can just release the pedal and the ECU will manage all the work. At the idle control, you just don't need to uh, 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 press the pedal regularly so that the engine doesn't go dead. And uh, the safety is also a major a major function of this ECU because ECU is just concerned about the safety also. These sensors can fail also obviously. The, the These uh, failures can be easily detected as there will be some lagging in the acceleration while you are uh, accelerating your vehicle. Or it may have no acceleration or it, uh, if you are pressing the uh, pedal suddenly then the car is not responding to it. There will be limited power and uh, no throttle response in the neutral if you are uh, pressing the throttle wall at the time of neutral there will be not such uh, response from the vehicle then you can just easily uh, guesstimate that yeah uh, the throttle wall oh, sorry APPS is not working properly I think I have uh, covered everything about the APPS if you still have any doubts and any queries you can please feel free to ask me in the comment section below I am there on Facebook I am there on Instagram you can please send me queries over there I am happy to help you over there if you have any doubts any queries please feel free to ask me in the comment sections thanks a lot guys for watching if you like this video please share it to your friends if you didn't like this video please dis uh, hit the dislike button and please tell me in the comment section below why you didn't like this video so that I can improve myself Thanks a lot guys for watching, keep watching, keep sharing, keep subscribing, keep commenting and keep loving. Thank